Hey everyone, Nantage Pine, and we're playing some The Last Federation today. The Last Federation is a game by Arkham Games. They describe it as space cran strategy with um, turn based tactical combat. I would describe it as space simulation, politics simulation, uh, rogue light something. <laughs> it's a really unique concept, and that's what I like about Arkham Games. They create these really unique titles, and uh, this is one of them. It will be released on the 18th, 18th of April. April uh, 2014, which will be in three days, depending on when this video is coming live. I think three days, probably. We will see. Um, the idea is you're this one little ship. Oh, well, it's a pretty big ship, actually. Uh, this one ship, you're the last survivor of a race. You will see the story in a minute. And you, there's this solar system with eight different planets and eight different races. And you're trying to build this federation to unite them all. Or kill all of them who don't want to unite. So you can do that as well. Um, there's a really, really deep simulation behind this. So the, the different races have really different uh, AIs and how they interact with each other. You could just sit there and watch. There's actually there is an observer tournament if you go in advanced start. You can go observer mode and just watch the AI do their thing. And it's probably kind of interesting because it's really deep. It's really deep simula It's a really deep simulation. I read some articles about it. Um, so. Uh, like who interacts with who based on what and how and stuff like that is really deep and as I said your goal is to unite them all or destroy them all or destroy the one who don't want to unite and whatever before I talk too much though let's get into it we will do a quick start I set the difficulty to hard because I like playing on hard and uh, we go with it I am the last of the murdered race of Hytrals. My countrymen were the dictators of the solar system. Uh, solar system. So we kind of had it coming. Yes, that is me above. And you are me. This is our story. So we're a multi-headed thing. <laughs> Monstrosity. I was a sole survivor thanks to a renegade mission I undertook betraying my race to bring spacefaring technology to our potential rivals. Oh my. My ultimate goal? The creation of a peaceful, unified federation of planets. Only then can we be safe from the kinds of atrocities my race committed and the kinds that were committed against us. Noble goals, noble goals. To kill a lot of people. Naturally, upon my crash landing at this planet, I was paced in captivity. Having no concept of my strength, they did not realize that I was merely waiting. I waited for years. Stardate first, I... I, I don't know, is that an... First one proto 3000. Oh, it's probably a name of some important person or something. So, 3000 years after this important person. My dream of a universal federation is as alive as ever, and now the Arcusians have finally gotten themselves into orbit. I guess that's how you pronounce this race's name. I'm not really sure. After spending so much time with me as a peaceful captive, they were ill prepared for my escape. I have commandeered the first prototype executor, and now the Accusions are in hot pursuit. 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 Ah. So this is this really weird sit setting, right? We're sitting on the planet, waiting for them to get into space. Then they build their first spaceship, and we steal it. <laughs> That's really cool. The Accusions are still in the process of ramping up the space industry, so that gives me a short window of opportunity. But soon the mechanical CEOs will be looking to make planetary acquisitions. These dangerous immoral robots destroyed the last remnants, remnants of my race after Evox almost wiped us out. Having them as my enemies was a given, I think. So the Evox, 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 Evox wiped out our race, which were the dictators of the whole, uh, whole solar system. And the Occlusions clean up after them, I guess. Sounds like that, at least. Um, here they come. I outclass this force so severely that it will be almost impossible to lose. That's a lie. When I play, tried this out the first time to get a feeling for the game, and I set the difficulty to hard, I was believing this tutorial, and I was going in guns blazing, and I died horribly. So, that's a lie. We can die really easy here. So now is a good time to put my ship through its paces, but I still have to be careful. If they manage to take out my ship, I will be just as dead now as later. So yeah, that's it. That's why I, why I was calling it the rogue light. If your ship dies, you're dead. Game over. That's it. Boom. So yeah. Um. Yeah, we'll skip over the tutorial. I'll explain. So that's our ship. That's us. The, your ship, the prototype executor. You die if this dies. <laughs> Good description. So it's turn-based, turn-based movement, uh, combat. But like, 
uh, not free pause, it's like it's turn based, but the turns are in real time. So I set up what I want to do, and then this will be executed. We'll see. So, first, we have to set up movement. These are the enemies, by the way. Our goal is to kill them all or to dock on this thing. It's pretty hard to dock on this thing with all of those alive, though. So, let's try to get rid of some first. I don't want to fly into them because it's kind of dangerous. So, let's fly over here. So, we have three different weapons. Um, a minigun, an energy blaster, and a gravity lens. And if we mow over an enemy, we can see which weapon deals how much damage to it. So the most DPS is the energy blaster with 70, uh, 75,600 um, DPS, which sounds pretty decent. So what we do is we set to the energy blaster. And now we can set different attack modes. Uh, Auto fired will just hit whatever. Uh, fire to select the chip, fire at exact point, and hold fire. So we will fire the selected chip and target this. So and now you see that was one turn. Okay, that didn't start too well. Um, I t perfectly, I want to only fight one at a time. So let's try to get away a little bit here. And while we do that, we shoot at this guy. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Let's go down here. Maybe we can trick them and get over there somehow. We will see. Says uh, by the way, if if we, if we how, depending on how we finish this mission, this has different outcomes for the for the strategy part of the game. Like if we kill a lot of them, they are not that happy. Um, and if we go there, we we well, explain that we will uh, give them some tech and stuff, and they will be happy about that. So I'm not really sure how the how the th idea behind going to this uh, stocking platform is, but uh, that's how it works. So yeah, now I spawn this middle ships, claymores, and the small ships, hypersonic pod. Um, I will ignore them for the time being though, so let's get down here. So, our shields are taking a little damage, not too bad yet. We're taking out his shield pretty good though, so let's continue flying in this direction, shooting him. Okay, um, let's explain objectives now here. Alternatively, if you uh, if you choose to instead dock with the science lab, then you can end the combat relatively peacefully. Um, you'll give them some text that will make them stronger. Hmm, is that smart? And they will like you a lot better. That part definitely sounds good. To dock with the lab, just fly over to it and wait. Um, you have to stay over on this lab like pretty long though. I think it's over 10 seconds. So maybe if we kill some of them. Uh, okay, he's flying in this direction, so probably turning in this direction will get us further away from him. I only want to fight this one guy. That seems to work. So, his shield should be down soon. You can, in theory, you can try to dodge some stuff, but there's so much stuff flying around that I don't even bother right now. Okay, shields are down. My shields are pretty down as well, though. So shields are down. What we do now, what happens now, is um, the efficiency of our weapons change. So and you, you can see now, gravity lance is the most, uh, the most powerful weapon right now against this ship. Let's. Uh, he's coming right now, right down here. So I guess I will go over here, basically uh, switch to the gravity lance, and try to take him out. Uh, that didn't work. Ha! Well, we dealt some damage. I think we pursued and tried to find now nah, our shields are too low. Let's fly in this general direction. Switch to the energy blaster and shoot. Well, we could try to shoot him. Wait, what? What's the second best weapon? The minigun. So minigun in range it is. We could shoot a little bit with the minigun at him. Uh, it didn't destroy them though. Okay, we have two guys on our, our tail, so uh, let's pop over there, shoot the energy blaster at him. I guess we changed target. Okay, now um, the game gets a little bit more complicated. The game tries to hold the complication, uh, the, the, the complexity back and uh, increases the complexity over time. So uh, what it introduces to me now is the power system power management um, on the ship. I will skip over this and explain it to you in a second. And also it will explain to me how to do this cool maneuvers. So um, basically you have... Ouch! I'm taking damage. You have uh, attack, shield and movement. The more points you put in those systems, the better they are. So if I put a lot of points in movement, I can f fly further and I can fly like really 
really small turns. And uh, you can shift click and do like waypoints like this. Um, if I put more points in shield, my shield will regenerate like faster, which is probably a good idea right now. Uh, who needs movement, right? Set the energy blasters to, to fire and all power in the shields. Oh, he's coming back. That's good. So we're flying up here. Trolling them a little bit. We need more power in the... Well, he will fly into range, right? So let's see. There we go. Kill him! There we go! One down. Four to go or something. We could aim back to this... Where's the... Why can't I get... Uh, I can't get up, up enough far enough. There's the, the server plus. I'm not sure why I can't scroll there. I don't know. I guess we're trying to get in this direction. Why shooting this guy? Our shields are really low though, so I hope they regenerate. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Oh no, there. Oh wow, this will probably hurt. Okay, I dodged these these purple thingies, whatever they are. Multi gun shot. Okay. Okay, his shields are down. This seems like a decent maneuver. Continue doing this and shoot him with the gravity lens. Yeah, he shot the other ones because he wasn't in range. Destroy him! God damn it! Oh god, there's another one coming. This will hurt. Ah, uh, he's not in range. I think we just try to get over here. Like, pop this, get away. Too many people around. Switch to the energy blaster. Can we get him with the minigun? No. Let's, so let's shoot the energy blaster at this guy. Ah, we're taking damage. Okay, so he's flying away. We could put more points in, in the engine, but I really want to get my shields up again, so... I am going over here. Um, I think I switched to the minigun because minigun is good against these small ships. So minigun, auto fire. Don't want to aim at them. Well, that seems to work. Okay, shields are ramping up again, so that's good. Um, this might be dangerous to fly over there though. We will see. He seems to not bother right now, so let's fly a little bit more this way. I think against these, no, minigun is good as against these as well, so let's continue using the minigun on auto fire, shoot whatever gets in our way. Okay, this one is coming back. So we switch to the energy blaster, focus in. Oh, I didn't uh, switch to. To the other fire mode. We might survive this, so let's let's try doing this. So seven more seconds. Actually switch to the minigun. We went we will oh we can take out him. Now we should probably not stand still. Let's fly in a circle. Gravity lands, sing it. Oh, didn't I? Sw I tried to switch to single target dam uh, shooting, but I don't know. It's fire at selected chips. Hey! Um, controls are screwing me over. I'm not really sure why, but 
Doesn't matter too much. Oh, it is on fire select ships already. So we target this one. Try to take it out. Not gonna happen, but we're done. There we go. So, since we gave them some tags, they actually like us. So there are basically two two different um, currencies. There's influence and credits. Influence is how much they like you, and uh, or how much. Well, not not only like you. If they fear you, that gives you influence as well. How much influence you have on them. So how how, how likely is the chance that they do what you tell them to do? Um, well, help you or whatever. And there are credits. We didn't got. Ah, oh, we got 400 credits for destroying enemy ships. Credits is it's not really currency. It's more like. Uh, respect, I think. Uh, it's not like money, money I was saying, but it, it works, uh, basically works like, like money, but uh, the, the flair behind this is more respect, so if you kill a lot of ships, you get credit for it. Okay, so we got influence because we gave them some tech when we docked with their server platform. We got credit because we destroyed some ships, and we lost a little bit of influence because um, we destroyed their ships. So that did not work in the same direction, obviously, <laughs> but it makes sense. Okay, so, now, so we come into the strategy phase now. Um, oh yeah, here I explained it. Right now, up, now you need to worry about getting credits to spend. You also need to accumulate good amount of influence with a few races. No, he doesn't explain credits influence here. Well, our focus right now is to get stronger. So this is the solar system. Uh, eight, one, uh, eight planets. Yes, eight. On every planet, there's a different race. So on this race, the Accusions, that's the Accusion homeworld, and they have like this, uh, whatever this is. Oh, that's the Hydro homeworld, actually. Hydro homeworld remnants. And they control this as well, as you can see on their symbol here. And there are these other other races. Not all of them are in space so far. Um, and we have like two quests now to get more, yeah, influence and credits, basically. So we can click on them, or mouse over them. It seems like the, the Evox wants to get terraforming. Um, so there are some flat text. Greetings, hi, my name is Varel Bat. Rel Bat, I must read reluctantly ask you for aid. For your aid. My people suffer from being extremely ill suited for our planet, and thus far our technology is insufficient to improve things. We prefer to keep ourselves, but if we find ourselves forced to capture territory or die, we would choose expansion. And you don't want that. If you can deliver specs, that will help us build a terraformer. Our compa compatibility with this plant will increase by 0.5. That might not sound like much, but to us it is a major advance. So and then you get these computer reports, which is basically the AI, AI which is helping you a little bit. This race is the least suited to the planet out of the rem remaining races that are not yet space-faring. Fearing. Looking at the numbers on the solar map overlay, do you think the improvement of 0.5 will be enough to make them a worthwhile ally? If so, they certainly will be very indebted to you. So, if you if you do this mission, you get different results. You get anti influenced by the Evox because they like your lord, because you gave them terraforming. Um, we'll build five of terraforming kit Evox on easel from technical specs you provided. So, okay, they will build something out of it. If we lose, we lose influence. Makes sense. Well, if, if you don't take it, actually. Probably. As well. So, and then there's this other mission. Um, we can give spacefaring to the Burlust. Burlust is another race. And we can give them the Bur spacefaring tech. So, they're not in space yet. But if we give them spacefaring tech, they are. And we get, we get a lot of influence on them. Um, do 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 Brothers will become spacefaring. Oh, actually, nobody else get mad. <laughs> I had, I had uh, in an, another playthrough, I had, or in my first try to playing this game, I had like, uh, you give them spacefaring. Um, other races get angry at you because you don't give them spacefaring. <laughs> so there are. It's not only influence on this race more sometimes, but on other races as well. So, um, and I think I could go somewhere else and give someone else space for instead of giving it to the burlers. But if we don't give it to the burlers because they want it really hard, they get angry at us, at least a little bit. So let's uh, first go to the Evox and give them, and give them um, the thingy, terraforming. Oh, actually, 
delivers me there, right there. Okay, I don't have to do this on my own. Good. So we just jumped in. The funny thing about this is now, um, we have to deliver them space fearing, but for some reason, someone wants to stop us from doing this. I have no idea why, <laughs> but that's the way it is. Um, in my experience, the best way to do this, so we have to get there. We don't have to stand there for 10 seconds or something, though. We just can fly there. So in my experience, the best strategy is just anything in engines. Try to avoid these these things if you can. Let's see, fly this way, I guess. They start shooting at you if you get in their center range. So I guess we fly over there, try to avoid this, and hold fire. And there we go. Look good. Looks good. Yeah, let's just fly in there. Ooh, this deal a lot of damage. I should not have crashed into these ships, I guess. Uh, let's see if we can make it. Maybe we can. Oh, we can. <laughs> that was close, though. <laughs> we took a lot of damage. Okay, and now, yeah, we got... Um, this This took 0.15 solar month, which is three seconds in the strategy mode. Well, um, because this is in real time, but you have three pause in the strategy mode. Um, which is pretty short. Well, it was really quick, so. Um, we lose influence on the bolosts because we refused their call of hel for help. Well, we didn't. Well, I guess we had to choose. Uh, not sure. And we gain AT influence on the Avax because we helped them, gave them um, the terraforming tech. And now they built five of terraforming kit, ever gonna insult food from technical specs we provided, blah, blah. So they get stronger. Now that's just wrong. Somebody created a virus called Ada I4860 that's trying to reprogram some of the robots to be more orderly. These are sentient beings. They're like me, just with legs and a torso and stuff. That's just wrong. Okay, <laughs> uh, I was surprised by that. That didn't happen before. I'm not really sure why I could not choose the other quest as well. When I played the first time, I could do both quests. Um, I don't know, maybe I was running out of time, but I don't think so, actually. Well, however, we're over here now. And now we have to, don't have any missions more, but we can do just, like, do stuff on our own now. So we can, like, go to friendly acts. Okay, it's explaining me that now. Feeling friendly, that is the spirit. If you're going to form a solar federation, you're going to have to make some friends. Credit is a super important concept. Ah, now he explains it. This is your social currency, so to speak. Doing things for races that they appreciate, or in some cases doing things that intimidate the race, gain you more credits. You can then spend credit with almost any race to get them to do what you want, or with the mercenaries, or with mercenaries. Credit is basically money, but it's a little more nuanced than that. But be warned, sometimes there are no friendly actions you can take with the race. Either you don't have anything to offer them, or they simply hate you too much to accept even needed help. This is one of the many reasons that your influence with the race is so important. Depending on the actions you take, your influence with the race goes up and down. High influence makes them more likely to cooperate, low influence makes them more likely to try to kill you. So we can give them spacefaring tech, for example. We will gain a lot of credits out of this, but they will start being spacefaring. Not sure if that's a great idea, so let's not do it for the time being. Um, so, yeah, you can do all this different stuff. There will be other stuff unlocked, like um, tech trees later and stuff. Well, uh, maybe it is already unlocked, I'm actually not sure. You have this overview over the different races. Most of them are not sp spacefaring yet, only the pirates. Oh, pirates are not the race, but... In fact, I guess only the auctions, auctions are spacefaring yet. Uh, so we could see, we could, should probably give another race space frame so the Arcusians don't get too dominant. Um, what well, else is your computer advisor? Oh, he gives me tips who I should ally with. Oh, that's interesting. And planet details stuff. I think the tech tree is not enabled yet. Yeah. So, um, the game gets more complex the more you go. You can deactivate this option and go full complex from the start if you want to. You have to choose in the advanced start menu. So, um, but for now, this is enough for one video. It's going pretty long already, isn't it? Yeah, 25 minutes. That's pretty, pretty well. It's fine, actually. So, 
I will probably play a little bit more with this because it looks really, really fun. I'm not sure if I will do like a full playthrough or something. Well, I will probably die anyway at some point, but we'll see. Um, I liked it again so far, so I will probably do a few more videos about it. Um, yeah, I hope that gives you a good first impression. Thanks all for watching. Have fun and see you next time. Have fun and see you next time. <laughs>